and in Sinead Eden, I'm from the Sergeant Partnership. Which does? And we're a chain of restaurants, uh, homegrown from Birmingham, national chain of restaurants now of 19. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so you've got experience of the food chain or the food network. Yeah, I work within the supply chain, so I head up the, the purchasing for the, the Sergeant Partnership. Lovely. You were talking about labelling. Yes, um, and, and just worries that I have surrounding labelling and, and how much trust you can place. Um, from experience, we've, through doing our due diligence, we found that certificates that are produced have these, you know, accreditation, you know, the stamps, the logos on them. And if you took it at face value, you'd say, oh, okay, yes, you know, very nice. But uh, going to the governing bodies and asking them, do you certify this company? They then say no. So, of course, they're immediately discarded from into our supply chain. So that means that sort of the public facing, even though it's sort of business to business, yeah. is is fakeable or is being faked? In my opinion, definitely. Um, if people, whether it be independents, national chains, you know, massive retailers, if you don't follow through on that due diligence, then you're at massive risk of having elements in your supply chain that definitely do not comply with what you as a company stipulate to be your ethos or your ethical guidelines. So where do you think the balance sits between, it sounds like there might be a balance between process, like those stamps, and relationships, like you picking up the phone? Definitely. I, I think, I don't know whether it's not enough resources, or people don't care enough, or people don't understand that these things can be questioned. So if you perhaps don't have a person set at the end of that computer on those emails that, that wants to, to be 100% sure and, and is prepared to challenge and make 10 phone calls and sit on hold if need be until you get those answers and I think you do have to be relentless but I think that's what you should be in our line of work. Lovely and how are you finding this conversation out then? Fantastic, uh, I wasn't sure you know what we were coming into today, you know it's just sort of like food crime became very open minded and, but it's been great to to hear other people speak and from different walks of the industry in Birmingham. So it's been very beneficial and I'm glad we're here.